Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. I just finished my workout. It rained outside on us, which means it's muggy in the garage. We did full body today. Whew. So I'm a little bit warm. Um, so again, happy Friday. Uh, today is just a work day from home. I need to edit some videos. I'm actually editing the Backyard Oasis renovation part one so that y'all can watch it on Tuesday. I have a shoot this coming week. Well, it's on Friday, so you'll see this the day before. Um, but that's it. Happy Friday. Welcome to the first day of the vlog. Let's get into it. Shower skincare done. You are in the microwave again. I am making me some breakfast. You've seen me do this how many times? So we're doing it again. Um, so I wanted to tell y'all yesterday, uh, my nieces and I went to the Egyptian mummy exhibit. We have the History Museum of Mobile. It's a traveling exhibit. So it's here through, I think, June 27th. The coolest thing, y'all. I love stuff like that. Just, I love it. So um, I didn't realize, and I don't know why, that you don't get to only see the exhibit. Like we also had access to the whole museum and I don't think they had ever been. So we got to walk around and see all sorts of um, stuff that they had set up in addition to the Egyptian mummy, which if it comes to your town, the coolest thing. So I'm taking a small break from editing. I haven't even started yet. My files are too big <laughs> to import into my computer. So I need to figure out like an alternative because it's like we put the pergola together and it's like really cool video, like cool angles, but it took hours and I didn't record for hours. So I'm not trying to like import that, but they're very long clips that I'm trying to figure out how I can import them. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. If you edit videos, you know my struggle. So what I think I can do, cause I can import like one at a time, but that's all my computer will hold while it's in like limbo to edit and export and all that stuff cause they're long. So I think what I'm gonna do is import one, drag it on a timeline, shorten it, because that's all I'm gonna do is just speed it up. Export it, send it to my phone, or like, you know, put it in a holding pattern and then the next one. And then maybe, maybe we can do it that way. I'm gonna blow dry my hair though, while we wait. While my brain thinks about what I should do. Update, it's eight o'clock at night. <laughs> so I've just been, I edited all day long. Brian got home, we went and had Mexican. I dropped salsa on my white shirt, but luckily these, this shirt is the one that I talked about in the last vlog that came in a two pack from Walmart and I ordered more. So I think they should be here tomorrow. So I can toss this one. I've worn it and washed it so much that it's kind of pilling a little bit. Can you tell? Yeah, you can tell. Um, so I'm gonna change my shirt, spray some OxyClean on it, see if I can get that off. Wash my face put my pajamas on, watch TV tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. It's 8.40. Is that what that clock says? 8.40 in the morning. It's already like sprinkling outside. I think it's supposed to rain today through from what I can see on the weather, like all day next week. Um, so today's an editing day. Luckily I was able to, remember yesterday I talked about my files were too big and my computer wouldn't hold them all to edit the backyard renovation. I figured it out. So yesterday I went through and added like each clip, shortened it, exported it, like it took me a while, but I think we're ready to edit the video today. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm probably not going anywhere. I do wanna get some more of that Elemis face cleansing balm that I tried a few weeks ago. I bought, I bought the trial size, remember? Trial, travel size, I think is what they call it. I really like it. So I need to get some more of that. It's very expensive, <laughs> um, but it works. And it's, you know, the better option versus the makeup remover wipes. And then I bought some like makeup removing, like a microfiber towel thing from Ulta didn't love it. It kind of made my face burn afterwards. Um, so I'm going to get some more of that. We got our grass cut yesterday. Looks so nice. Right? 
Did you go potty? You gonna go potty? It's not raining yet. I'll come with you. Come on. Let's go. It's just sprinkling. I still haven't been able to find the red coffee. <laughs> so, it's nasty. Don't try it. The red soap coffee, ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Boopsies, you gonna go potty or what? What are we doing out here? What are we doing out here? My mom said she was gonna come over a few days a week and do some water aerobics to help build up her muscles again. And then it's been like nasty weather. <laughs> um, so hopefully it clears up so she can come over and we can hang out. Oh, that is from Sunday. So almost seven days ago, it was water with fruit in it and we left it out. I was gonna say Brian left it out, but I live here too, to be fair. I could have taken it in and I haven't. And now it's just an experiment. Today is day six, five. We're gonna see what it, what it turns into. Good morning. Do you sleep well? You look sleepy. <laughs> you look so pretty right there. Good morning. Say hello to the people. Say hello. Ooh. No, you just want treats. Those are her treats right there and right there. So that's what she's waiting on. Don't let her fool you. Not even waiting on them. She already got them today. So what are you trying to do? I know you. And you? You already got him too. Guess I'm gonna drink this. It's not bad once I add some of the creamer that I like into it, but it's not stoke. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, I made me some breakfast. I'm now sitting down in front of my computer to edit. So I'll most likely see you at dinner tonight. I'm gonna do some chicken in the air fryer, maybe some potatoes I'm looking at over there, but also, I may go to Ulta in the middle of the day, and if I do, I'll take you. It just depends on what the weather looks like. Okay, we made it to Ulta. My thoughts on the way over here, though, I think that LMS stuff is super pricey. So, oh, thank you. We may also just be trying the Clinique travel version. See which one we like better. So here's the big one. It is $64. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the Clinique one. So it's the same size, take the day off bomb, but it is $31. Okay, so I think we're gonna try this one. I ended up getting the Elemis one. I had the Clinique one in my hand. It's half the price. I was going to check out, and then I remembered while I liked the moisture surge that I tried recently, I did get some breakouts from it, and I've been using this longer, and I've had zero issues, so I just bit the bullet. It was $64. It did come with a little towel, I guess, that you, you know, wipe your uh, stuff off afterwards. It was the same size as the Clinique one, so the exact same amount of product, but I did get a free gift, so I got the Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF. I mean, I should have got a free gift. I spent $70. It's a little mini. Anti-wrinkle day cream, broad spectrum, SPF 30 sunscreen, anti-aging. So we'll try it. I've had great luck. You know, I've got like weird skin and sunscreen. Gives me like face whelps. Um, so I've had good luck with that Elta MD product, but I'll try it because I'm super impressed with this cleansing balm to remove makeup. So yeah, $70.40 was my total after tax. <clears throat> so, um, but I feel like this will last long. I probably still got two, maybe even three more uses out of the travel size when I bought. When did I go? It was like a few weeks ago and it was 14 bucks. So I feel like this big one, I'm gonna get a lot out of it. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Rouse's, the grocery store is right next door. Well, two stores over. So I'm gonna run in, see if they have the coffee. I need some cinnamon sugar. So while we're in this little area, let's go see if they have the coffee. I need it. I finished off the Starbucks one that I got this morning. It's not for me, y'all. It is not for me. They only have green, so. We'll get one. I need some more creamer anyways. They don't have the creamer that I typically get, so I'm gonna try this one. 
Sounds pretty similar. So I was about to get in the shower and remembered I bought the Elemis stuff today and it said you can put it on for like a deep cleanse for 10 minutes. So that's what I've done. So I figured in that 10 minutes, I will show you what I got. So I'm making Brian, I think I'm gonna give it to him tonight. That's why I'm telling you, or tomorrow. Um, I'm making him like a Disney basket of things. So I've just been like collecting a bunch of stuff. So I figured I'd show you what I've got so far. Okay, so I have a portable phone charger because we know we're gonna need those. Some Burt's Bees chapstick. Some sunblock, so that I can hold it all. Oh, well, I'll show you. Um, a little thing of Jergens lotion for like his head and face and stuff. A little hand sanitizer. I got him this chocolate from World Market the other day. It just looks really cool. It's two bars of chocolate. And then I realized when I got home, it was $7.99. So let's hope it's good. My trainer told me, well, she, I was telling her I was making this basket and she uh, like Googled men's Disney shirts and this was the first one that popped up. It says, I'm here for the snacks. It just came in today, how cute. I picked uh, this color. They had a bunch of different colors, but I liked this olivey green color. So I'm gonna roll that up in there. And then at Ulta, some poopery for the hotel room. And then I ordered a couple of tops from LNF Boutique. They just extended, it's a local boutique in Mobile, and they just uh, extended into like a very small men's collection. So I ordered a couple of tops for Brian, and I'll show, I'll show you both of them. I think this is the one that I'm going to put in the basket. It's just like a tan button up short sleeve shirt. I felt like this one, could be nice for Florida. You know, we know it's hot in Florida. Um, but yeah, I, it's nothing like, like I don't really know if it's his style, but it's very vacation-y feel to me for some reason. Um, so I'll probably put that one in there. And then I did order him this t-shirt too. Just like a, I thought it was white, but it's more of like a pinky lavender off-white. But it's actually a super thick t-shirt. The brand is Mono B. I got it in his regular size, which is a large, and it looks a little bit big, which is nice. I'd rather it look big than small. Um, so I may just give him this just cause, because I thought he would like it. Like he can always use more t-shirts. And I got this basket from Target to put everything in. So it's longer, not super deep, I thought it would be cute. I don't know. It's nothing that like he needs and he can absolutely buy these things for himself. But I just thought it was a cute little idea, a cute little gift. So what I'm gonna do, I think I've still got like five minutes on my face. Take a shower, we'll put this together, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm out of the shower. So I put the basket together. I feel like I need to put some more things in here. Can you see all that's in there? Um, I've been thinking about like a Polaroid camera with some film, just to have like something fun to take with us, to take pictures like in the hotel and just like out and about, to have cool pictures other than just like cell phone pictures. So I may grab one of those off Amazon. I need to even look. I don't even know how much they are right now, if you can get them, anything like that. Um, so I need to look and see if I can find it or if I'm just gonna leave it like that. Hello, y'all. I was gonna say good morning. I'm pretty sure it's still morning. It's like 10, 30, maybe 11 o'clock. Uh, it's Tuesday, happy Tuesday. So I did my workout this morning, took a shower. I've been sitting there working on the computer. And then I remembered, so Stitch Fix, if you don't know, which I just found out recently, they do a shop feature so you can shop things according to things that you like on their website, then just buy them outright versus subscribing and getting a box and all that fun stuff. So I've been perusing the shop section, the shop tab, and a while back I ordered these shorts. They're the brand Market and Spruce, and they're those dolphin, dolphin shorts, is that what they call them? There's a hair right there. 
Um, I got them though in a size 3X and they're just too big. I've worn and washed them several times and they just, they don't shrink, which I guess is a good thing. Um, but you just like buy things outright. So I purchased these. Well, I actually have credits on my account. So I snagged these. So they're just a little bit too big. Um, I guess I'll show you what they look like though. That's the whole point of me standing here now because I ordered a couple of other things that came in and I was gonna show you. Okay, so here's the shorts. I just tucked the shirt in so that you can see. They do have an elastic waistband, like the little bit of a dip on the sides. <laughs> do they look funny with my shirt tucked in? Um, they're very comfortable, but they're just too big. Uh, so I just realized this go round that you can actually select different, different sizes for things, which the things I ordered doesn't really matter. Okay. So I ordered three things. Two of them have come in the mail. I've yet to open it because I'm saving it to open with you. By the way, Brian loved his basket. I gave him his basket, loved everything about it. Also found the Red Stoke coffee. We're at Target on Sunday. So Target came through. Thanks for your purchase. We think it's going to look amazing. And then I do have a little label if things don't work. All right, so two things I ordered. First thing is a pair of slim boot mid-rise jeans in a size 20 W. They were 40 bucks. This is the brand Revelry. Revelry? Reverie, Reverie. I got a pair of jeans this brand in a box a while back, like skinny cropped, charcoal colored distress, not distress, like acid wash looking. They fit so good. And so when I saw these in this style, I thought, let's give it a go. This brand is the most, like the cheapest brand of jeans they've ever sent me before. And like I said, I really liked them. And then one of the shirts went ahead and came, so I'll show it to you now. The other one hasn't arrived yet. Margaret and Spruce is the brand. I stuck with this one in a size 3X. We know I don't like things snug, but it's this really pretty olive color with a little bit of a V there. Let's see, I wonder how much it was regular price. They don't tell me. But let's put this outfit on. My fear with the jeans is that they're gonna be too short. And I think that I'm right. Oh no. The shirt fits really good. Also, why would you put that there? I guess maybe so you can't wear it out and return it. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so here we go. The pants are too short. Dang. They fit so nice though. Like they fit perfect. They're a 20 W. I think I said that already. They sit right at my belly button. I love the gold button. They have a bit of stretch to them, but they're not skinny ankle. Oh, they're too short. Dang. Okay, well, there's that. And then here's the T. Cute, I like the size. The other one, I'll put on the screen what the other one looks like. I need to watch this video back before I decide if they're too short, but I think that they are. Okay, and then last, not last weekend, but the weekend before, I told you, I'm pretty sure Brian and I went back to the outlets in Gulfport, um, and I got a couple of t-shirts, and I meant to show you in last vlog, but I just don't know what happened there. So I got them from American Eagle, they do big sales, but of course, the t-shirts I got were not on sale. They were $34.95 a piece, but they sold these in an extra, extra large, which I think is what I need. We'll try them on together. Oh no, they're in an extra large. <laughs> okay. All right. So they're this like, just these easy soft tees. This one is a pale yellow. It says the Beach Boys on the front. And then it has this cute Beach Boys 1985 tour on the back. I'm a little bit nervous now that these are an extra large. So my thought was if I can get them a little bit oversized, I can wear them with like bike shorts or denim shorts in the summer because they're super lightweight um, and see-through. Okay. So here's this one. 
Uh, I feel like these run big because typically an extra large fits me tighter than this. Again, you can see straight through it. Um, but maybe I'll just sleep in this one. Like I mentioned, they're super soft. Okay, the other one I got, maybe this one won't be so see-through. It's more of like a distress tee, says Sublime. You can see like the distressing there. What size did I get? Also an extra large, but I like the graphic and the color. It's a bit of a tie-dye. Like I opened this, the blinds in the kitchen so you could see me better. And I'm just like changing in here. Nobody's out there, so hopefully no one's peeking out their windows. Okay, here's this one. This one fits a little bit more snug, I feel like. So yeah, I'll try to find these and link them down below if you're interested. I feel like they're a generous fit. Um, could be cute, like knotted, even knotted on the side and like tuck it with some shorts or something. I'm just always in the market for super soft t-shirts, which these are. The sleeves are a little bit long for my liking. I would prefer them like this. Okay, so there's my um, bit of a mini haul. I think what I'm gonna have to do as far as the jeans is send them back. I think they're too short, which makes me sad because they fit really nice. Um, but I'll look and see if they maybe have a tall option. I feel like these types, like boot cut and flares and stuff, I always get in talls because I am a little bit tall. Okay, so. I am going to continue working on my computer here. This is where I sit, by the way, on my computer. And I have a hair appointment at one o'clock for an Olaplex treatment. It's at a different salon. The salon I normally go to, they don't use Olaplex. So I asked my friend Laura, who went blonde over the last couple of years. She usually has dark hair, but she went blonde and it looks phenomenal. And so obviously she uses Olaplex. So I asked her where she went. So I'm gonna go and see um, her hair stylist today for an Olaplex treatment. I feel like I need it. We know this. I have dry hair. How many times am I going to say it? And then especially when we put bleach in it, it, you know, dries it out even more. So I'm going to do that treatment at one. So this is what my hair looks like before. <laughs> uh, I did work out this morning um, and I washed it yesterday. So here's what it looks like. I don't think it's going to look any different. I think it's more so the feel of it. And when I made my appointment, I told her, I always do this. I said, I have thick hair. Like I want them to be able to block off enough time. Um, so I was like, I have, I have thick hair. So just so you know, okay. I'm rambling at this point. I'll see y'all after the treatment. Okay. I'm at a weird angle with this. All right. So hair treatment is done. My hair feels amazing. It doesn't look like the color is the same. We didn't do anything like that. We just did um the treatment and she actually blow dried it instead of curling it with a curling iron with like a round brush to get the wave effect um so it feels amazing i did ask for her opinion on like the state of my hair and color and all that kind of stuff um so i really liked her i really liked the treatment i'll do it again i'm going to end this video here because I need to edit you. My nieces are going to come over tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do a pool day unless it rains, but we'll still hang out regardless. So this weekend, as I mentioned, Friday is my anniversary. And then Brian's off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I probably won't vlog much. So I want to know, you'll still get a video Thursday. It won't be a vlog um, because that leaves me one or two days you know I don't really do a whole lot in general to have like an interesting vlog so let me know what you want to see I've had several people ask me about like a hair routine products I use how I style it that sort of thing um so we can do that if that's something you're into I don't know let me know uh what you want to see for Thursday and we'll get it done so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see y'all in my next one bye